Yes, you were about asking me a question. Ask me that question. What were you trying to say? Uh -huh, my friend, you. Please, I want to know what you have to tell about this erection. Ha -ha. The results have been expected. Eh? Isn't that? But I want to know the candidate you are in support of. Is it Shivkaj or Arajida for you? <laughs> Look, Eti, my good friend. We all belong to one country. The Republic of Wahala, isn't that? Then, 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 then. Now, as citizens of Republic of Wahala, the whole candidates are qualified to be to rule this nation. Good job. So, if any of them wins, I will give him my maximum support, as long as my salary is being paid as I do. Good job. Good job. Allah wa na chukusu ma iferendi, chukusu dang Allah. Are you one telling me for this particular election? This election, I know put them for Allah. You don't told you? Bala. Naam. Ah, ah, Bala, my friend. Eh? Forget about whom I voted for. You see, we should all concern ourselves with making sure that the military gets back to their barracks. My gentlemen, the what we are concerned about is that these military people have done too much damage to your country. You can imagine those military guys. They want to rule this civil service. Can he go all around as if we are fighting war? Please. Since the history of our friendship, him. this is the first time he has said something good. Chori, <laughs> all this nonsense will come to a head as soon as Chief Cash wins this election. Every time I do come for see, Chief Cash, I go win for this election. Every time, Chief Cash, I win for election. Wallahi tallahi billahi la la sini kaji na reisi mako. This is my mouth wallahi. Bada! 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 B
The day Allah did not pull you, I must, I, I, I must win for this election. Can you go? Because Kuma wallahi kabad da subhanallahi wa la shaytani rajim. Uh -huh. I know no my people wallahi for this country. I be my better right. My better right. I will love for this country every time. Baba. Baba. You have to do that. Your bad right is to return to your village and not to rule this country. Ah! Who wants to shake it? Ah! Who wants to shake it? Ah! Well, holy. Bala, worry. Bala. What is it? Let us listen to the news. Gentlemen, 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 listen. It's now time for rules. Let's listen to rules. Here is the news update. Election results have been received from six small states, bringing the total results to 26 states. A breakdown of the results shows that Chief Cash, the presidential flag bearer of the Special Democratic Party, SDP, is leading with 18 out of 30 states, while his opponent, Alaudi Danfodio, the presidential flag bearer of the National Reformation Party, NRC, has so far won eight states. Not only has Chief Cash won enough states to clinch the presidential mandate, he also defeated his opponent in the opponent's own state. With four more results being awaited, Aladdin Danfodi stands no chance of winning the election, going by the National Election Commission's guidelines on presidential elections. Now for our Vox Pops. I told you, Bala. I told you, choose. I told Bala that my mom was going to win the election. In Milan, near your city. In Milan, near your city. But if I were me, then i in Milan, near your city. Not only did Chief Cash win the election, he even won a large award. Even his own estate. Most of them. Ah, you know what I mean? Tinde. 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 I love you, Yabba. These people, Kaji. These people are very, very wicked for this country. These people, Kaji, who I must have rigged this election. Wallahi, to lie you. Why are you doing that? Why are you? Why are you rigging? Why are you? Oh, don't you know how to rig? Kajiko eh? wallahi. Oh, mama shedi rig. Kajiko wallahi. Ina kia ma wallahi. Who wants to get this guy wallahi? Who wants to get this guy? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my at least we have achieved one thing, eh? That we have been able to chase these military looters back to their barracks. It's enough for us to celebrate. Good job. Ah, that's true. Bala, are you mad? Tunde, it's all right. Take concentration. Thank you. Oshejere, congrats. Oshejere, Oshe. Shuri. Sir, as a foreign journalist, what do you think about this election? Yeah, having conducted the most furious and fairest elections in this country, I think the military will definitely hand over power to the civilian. What if they refuse to hand over? Yeah, the war power now have to intervene. Thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. May I know your reaction to the just concluded presidential election? I am happy, indeed, because the whole world now knows that we are capable of holding a free and fair election. We should be proud of that achievement and of ourselves as people. Excuse me, sir. Yes? So I'm from the press. Press? Yes, what sir. do you want? I want to interview you, okay. sir. Okay. Sir, yeah. a lot of people are jubilating over the success of the election. Are you one of them? Uh, they're very, very happy. Are they very, very happy? Sir, yeah. now tell us in particular what you're happy about. First of all, the man and my townsman. Secondly, the politicians with Delos say the price of food will come down. You know they're happy. Are you fatal? You know they're happy. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you, sir. Okay.
Abba, Abba. What are you doing in the villa? Are they saying for you? Stop fighting, Abba. Speak up. What is the matter? You're about to stop me in the back, sir. How do you mean? Stabbing you in the back? Okay, you don't seem to remember our agreement, sir. Maybe you compromise to allow these bloody civilians to release the results, sir. What is wrong about it? Okay, are you asking me, sir? Yes, I'm asking you. Okay, we had an agreement, sir, didn't we, sir? Remind me. Okay, I helped to topple the last military administration, sir. And we agreed that after your office, I'll become the next head of state, sir. But I don't know what you are doing, sir. Abba, Abba. Things are no longer the same. Look around the world. The clamor for democracy is beginning to assume feverish dimension. Because of that, our nation is under international pressure to embrace democracy. And that is why I am not disposed of handing over to another military man. Oga, I did not agree with your international pressure on our country, sir. Oga, if I may ask, sir, do we now take instruction from overseas countries, sir? Papa, you don't seem to understand the fundamental principles of our international relations. Do you know the consequences of being internationally isolated as a head of state? International isolation is of no consequence to me, sir. Do you think a military head of state will contain whatever tension should the election results be annoyed? Oga, okay, it is the good management of the military to manage any coincidence, sir. And what about the shedding of the blood of innocent people? For any struggle for power, sir, there must be casualties, sir. Supposing you are killed. Oga okay, will lie. My security apparatus will make bloody nonsense of Adolf Isla's gas depot. How bad? How bad? What is your problem? What do you need more powers for? You already have enough. We almost earn the same salary. You have enough to even feed a whole village for a hundred years if you want. Abba, the difference between you and I is that I am a step above you. And believe me, if you wish to become a general, it could be done overnight. I don't want promotion, sir. I want the seat as the head of state of this country, sir. Papa. Okay. I will do something to that effect. But it's too late, sir. All the election results are not yet out, Papa. Am I right? Come on, Papa. Trust me. Trust me. I will do something about it.
Commission, NEC. The annulment is followed by a judgment from the Magistrate Court in the Federal Capital Territory in respect of a suit filed by a group known as Association for Better Wahala, ABW, which prayed the court to declare the election null and void. The ABW was said to have based its argument on the fact that the total number of registered voters and votes cast did not sum up to one fifth of the total population of the entire nation. Such minute fraction of the nation's population, the group argued, was incapable of electing a popular president, adding that the acclaimed winner of the election does not represent the mandate of over 100 million citizens of this country. Only. Only. Ah! Only anyone? Ah! Hello. 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 We will not allow them to take our mandate. Yes. 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 We should go out and march. Yes. Yes. Fight them. Yes. Yes. Challenge them. Yes. Now let's go. Yes. Let's go. Gentlemen, you're welcome to this meeting. I shall first of all commence by commending the efforts of my good friend and also a friend of the military, Chief Nze and his association for Beta Wahala. Excuse me, gentlemen, there is a security report coming. Uh, good morning, His Excellency. Uh, the situation here in Lagos province is rapidly degenerating to anarchy and the riot is escalating. In fact, it's spreading to almost all the local government areas. People are dying and, and right now the streets are littered with corpses. Several government buildings and vehicles have been burned down, sir. Abba. Thank you, baby, sir. Did you hear that security report from the Divisional Command Headquarters? Ranga did is as you predicted, sir. Too bad. What are the police doing about it? Uh, sir, the police are helpless in this particular circumstance. And therefore, they are not capable of doing much, sir. 
And what do you suggest? Uh, well, I do suggest that the immediate deployment of combat troops of about uh, battalion strength, sir. Please do that with immediate effect. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency, sir, the police are always helpless in a situation like this because of poor fundings and lack of operational facilities, more especially sophisticated weapons. political clout that is to say your influence intellectual endowment financial resources integrity and other special qualities better than you by Allah you are going to be returned by this administration for a very special duties and adversary capacities. On our part, we will compensate you adequately with contracts. And to show you how serious we are, 
we will give you the initial sum of a hundred million naira. Thank you. I will do my best. As the strong man of Eastern politics, you are going to take the center stage in an unfolding political drama. You are going to hold your people of the East in check so that there will be no clamor or agitation for democracy. No clamor for the actualization of the mandate. You must fight the people from where the acclaimed winner of the presidential election came. Trust me. You know, this is a very small deal. Considering what I did in the Meridian Republic, I have swum greater oceans. Can you tell the viewer from the legal standpoint the whole drama of the annulment of the election? This is the argument. In a nation of 100 million people, 14 million people registered for elections and uh, elected so-called uh, winner. Then a group of people known as Association for Better Wahala, for which by the special grace of God I am the chairman, obtain the signatures and the names of 40 million citizens who are opposed to this election. They filed a suit praying the court to declare the elections uh, illegal and the result from these elections uh, 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 null and void. We argued that case convincingly and won. The elections has been annulled. Chief. Don't you think that the civilian government headed by Chief Cash would have been the best for this country than the military junta, which refused to relinquish power? No, it is not so. Why, Chief? Those who know Chief Cash will attest to the veracity of my claims that Chief Cash, if installed the president of this country, will most definitely become a stooge in the hands of these foreign powers. This means our great country will become a colony in the hands of these powerful European countries before you knew it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Suppose you are aware of the escalating riots. Yes, Oga. And the blood of innocent men, women, and children spilled all along the streets and cities in this country. How about Oga? Any problem, Oga? Yes, there is problem. Ha, Oga, it's not supposed to be problem, Oga. Riot or no riot is no problem. Compared to civil war, you and I went to fight together, Oga. That you became the member of soldier, Oga. This letter is from the office of the Commonwealth Secretary General. Okay. okay. This second letter is from the Amnesty International. Okay. The letter read, okay. We have received reports of the 
gory details of the human carnage in your country, Wahala. Killing, maiming, wanton destruction of property is going unabated. We gather that most of these crimes are being propagated by the soldiers deployed on the streets of the cities across the country. The entire situation which amounts to gross human rights violation is unacceptable to us. From the foregoing, we hereby demand as follow. Number one, Oga, that all the troops deployed on the streets should be withdrawn and replaced by the policemen. That the annulled election results must be released and the acclaimed winner installed as president. No, Oga. That the acclaimed winner installed as president? <laughs> Oga. No, Oga. No, no, no. No, Oga. No, I disagree, Oga. Lieutenant General Appa, continue. But in the event of non-compliance, the Amnesty International would be compelled to press for the imposition of economic sanction against your government. So now, Abba, what is your opinion on the first letter? Oga, for the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Oga, we don't have problem at all at all. Why do you think so? Oga, the Secretary General is from this country. He will not want any problem that will be problem to him at all. One line. And the second letter? Oga, for those Pokunosas, Oga, those Pokunosas, they can't do anything to us, Oga, because our money, we get it from the crude oil from here, Oga. They can't do nothing, son. But lie. Lieutenant General Appa, is that your analysis? Yes, Oga. For a Lieutenant General like you who has attended courses in the Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies? Yes, Oga. You can go. Thank you, Oga. Oga, I should tell it, Oga. Oga, I should tell it later, Oga. No, 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 no. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. You are aware that for the past few months, I've been under intense pressure from most of you here and from abroad to hand over power to the civilians. And after a careful consideration of the matter, I have resolved to invite some reputable civilian gentlemen to come and participate in our soon to be constituted interim national government. This is Chief Salenko. He is to head the entire national government. You all know him well. I chose him because he is of the same tribe with the acclaimed winner of the December 6th election. With him, tempers will be lowered. And he will be able to reconcile his people and the rest of the country. More civilians will be appointed. And with these key functionaries, we we'll work with you to move this nation forward while I step aside. 
the swearing in ceremony will be done tomorrow by the chief judge of the federation thank you Is happening? Are you so broke that you cannot even offer me a bottle of soft drink, not to mention cola? Uh, Suku, you talk as if you are not in the same country with me. One bottle of soft drink, 30 naira. Unless uh, you will uh, 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 at least. Uh, what is this? Pure water. For a bottle of soft drink, you brought with pure water. Yes, that is what I have. For. That is what I have. For. Come on. What is it I'm hearing? Is it about the news of the president stepping aside? Yes, exactly. Who did he hand over the government? Um, Before they, stepping aside, they call him Chief Saleko. He will soon make his inaugural speech on television. There you are. There you are, Tunde. I keep telling you the head man is General Baramas. He's very, very intelligent. In fact, very smart. <laughs> that Baramas of a man is talking about the criminal. How? Why is he on the run? Why is he on the run? He should have stayed behind where I could handle him and tell him to pieces. <laughs> too late, Tunde, too late. Your people cannot do anything anymore. Uh, why did you say that? Your man is now the head of interim government. Let's hear what he has to tell the nation. John, pass me the remote. Fellow countrymen, I wish to commence this broadcast by first appealing to all the aggrieved parties for calm. I hope it will gladden the hearts of the citizens of this country from my geopolitical zone that once again an illustrious son of theirs in the person of my humble self, Chief Salenko, has been appointed the head of state of our great country Wahala. As head of the new interim national government, my priority will be the restoration of peace, hope, love, and unity to one another in our great country. With all this in place, the prospects of unity and stability will be greatly enhanced. Already, I am convinced that my emergence as head of state has specified all those who speak the same language with me. The next priority of my administration will be to look into the circumstances surrounding the annulment of the December 6th election. This is with a view to the dispensation of justice. Thank you. And may God bless you all as you remain law abiding citizens. Hello, Johnson. Ah, how are you? 
What did you appear from? It's been long I saw you. Well, you've seen the country the way it is. So, I tried to lie low. The situation in the country, you see, is terrible. It's terrible. I'm afraid there's going to be war. There's going to be war. Mark my words. This is a prophetic statement. It's only a fool who will doubt that. Well, that's why I'm getting ready to leave this country. Really? Yes. Everything has broken down. Essential services are not there. Electricity supply is zero. Fair scarcity is the order of the day. Schools, banks, all essential services have shut down. What? What am I doing here? Is a hell living here. Imagine the head of state who caused all this trouble without even considering the consequences inherent in such. Now is on the run. Hey, Mama Nkechi. Yeah. How now? We day fine. How on a day now? No day fine. No. Why? Mm. You know, she say these uh, civilian people and their military brothers, they won't kill everybody for this country. Not true. They won't destroy this country. Even the, even self, the Secretary of Information, in the talk, say people from foreign countries want to come here, come fight us. What do we go do? Come fight us, eh? I go just enter my house just now, pack anything, wear everything where I get, and my children. My sister, it is not easy. You know, they're easy. Me, mm. we be civil servants. You know, they're easy for me. Since three months, they never pay my salary. Mm. When it can't be matter of life and death, because I'll be saying there is. I beg, make I pass. Chief Salenko, I invite you for a discussion and to explain certain things to me. And what is it, if I may ask? I want you to explain to me, as stipulated in the government that bring in the interim government, one, your tenure of office, two, how you leave the office. But what is really the reason for all this? The decree says that in the situation where the sovereignty and the unity of this country is threatened, it is the duty of the Chief of Army Staff and the Defense Minister to protect. I still don't understand the purpose for all this. As the Chief of Army Staff and Defense Minister, it is my duty to protect this country. understand the purpose for all this. It is in the decree that you either leave the office by resigning honorably or by coup or by death. What is this? I mean, why can't you people give us some breathing space to perform? For how long have we been in office? And you are telling me not to step aside? If you decide to resign honorably by resigning, that is honorable. But if you decide to resign by coup, that will be a shame for you. So which one do you prefer? Since the decree agreed that you can be removed by coup, or by debt, that is what I want you to do right now. I want you to understand that this whole building is surrounded by my men and ammunition. If any of you bloody civilian try to be stubborn, I will kill you. Come inside here, my soldiers. It's all right, it's, it's okay. It hasn't gotten to this, has it? It hasn't surely gotten to this, has it? I will, I will resign. Just, just take it easy, please. Just take it easy, I'll resign. I'll sign this place immediately. I say you sign this place. Please, please take it easy. I will, I will. Where do you want me to sign? Where is it you want me to sign? I have 
to tell you that you are the best president this country never had. During your tenure of office, you were very hardworking and astute. But because of the chaotic situation, I have to declare myself the president and the commander in chief of armed forces of the Federal Republic of this great country, Wahala. Your Excellency, sir, I'm here to help out in the pronunciation of certain difficult words. In your address, sir. I will commence when you're ready, sir. I am ready. All right, sir. Sir, please say this word after me. Say agriculture. Agriculture. Mm, no, sir. Agriculture. Agriculture. Yeah, that's better. Now let's take another line of words, this time a phrase. Say the word local government. Local government. No, sir. Local government. Local government. That's better. Now let's take the last word. Say the word country. C country. Country. No, no. Country. Hey, come on, remove this one from here. Don't worry about it. Come on, live here, my friend. Is this, is this Wahala language? Is English Wahala language? Come on, get over my. Let me read my statement. Fellow countrymen, we have watched with dismay the event of first couple of months, which have been threatening the unity corporate existence of Wahala as a nation. Rather than averting this incident of wanton of destruction of lives and property, we have given rise to falling of general insecurity throughout the nation to the extent that the interim national government was no longer in control. Hence, we were invited to take over a country whose affairs are in shambles. It is evident, therefore, that our country is a child of circumstance. You should all lay down homes, remain calm because our administration, which is not an offshoot of the previous military government, is only here to correct all injustice and hand over to the acclaimed winner of December 6th election within one year. As a corrective regime, we will, within this one year, reduce inflation, ease transportation difficulty, put an end to wealth scarcity, and restore the loss of glory of education. Also, within this one year, we will empower the farmers with a view of increasing productivity in agricultural sector. This is a collective tax for all of us that would only be achieved with your support and in an atmosphere of peace. Therefore, we are appealing to you once to remain calm. Thank you, and God bless you, the people of Wahala. Thank you very much. Ms. Cynthia, would you please comment on the policies of the new military regime? I'm tired of the military and their tricks. Comment specifically on the new regime headed by General Alba, who had just made his inaugural speech. Well, I think they have a good program. And most importantly, they don't intend to stay more than one year. They will hand over to the winner of the December 6th election. It's really good, and we ought to give them a chance. Thank you. Back to your private. You're welcome. Please, I would like to know your view on the new regime of General Alba. Uh, you know, the military are all the same. It is the same old story. But don't you think that the new regime will be better than the previous one? Well, if what the new man said is anything to go by, then we should be up for So let's give them a chance for the one year they are passing. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.
I was trying to call your phone before you called me. You, you, you need my help? Uh, something of such. Okay. I want you to give me the list of some of your members for ministerial appointment and other appointment. And um, I want to use it to prove some of my goal to the people so that they will know that after one year we will hand over the government to you. Okay. And some of these ministers, you use them in your <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. Uh, I shall send you a list of five of my men tomorrow. Oh, I'm very grateful, Your Excellency. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Excellency. You know, my, my people have this saying in Yoruba adage that Nini Kokodudu, you know, that is in, in a black clay pot, that is where you get the white pap. <laughs> uh, one good tone deserves another. Mm -hmm. uh, th thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you, the Excellency in the making. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, it's time for a prayer now. Uh, well, let us go to the mosque to get a ah. prayer to one. No problem. No problem at all. No problem. No problem. Yes. After you. Thank you. Huh? You see, I'm not a free library. Yeah, that's all right. You are mad. Ah, you must be a fool to think I don't have money to buy cover paper. Nah, how much is the paper? It's 50 dinars. Oh. I will buy you, I will buy you, and buy your, your paper. Nah, yeah, don't know. I won't give you the money. I have seen the list of the top functionaries and the new appointees of this new government. Let me read them aloud. Let me read them aloud. Hey. Me read them aloud. Hey. Uh -uh. Chief of General Staff, Major General Ayo. Chief of Army Staff, Major General Salim. Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Idrisi. Chief of Air Staff, NVG Sadiq. Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Usman, Chief Security Officer, Major Taylor, Director of Military Intelligence, Colonel Kudo, Minister of Sports, Mr. James C. Fechuku. Why do you do that? They have, what they have done it again. They have shared it among themselves again. Of all the whole key government functionaries, my brother was made a common minister of sports. In my fact, brother was made a common minister of sports again. In fact, you, you are very, very lucky. In our own case, did they remember Rose because we are minority? Nothing is given to Rose at all. Hi. I, I'm my, my brother should have been the president of this country. But they won't allow him. They won't allow him. Eh? Oh. My God gracious. Kai mana Kai na. Every time I talk about my brother, I be a for presidency for this country. Why I want my brother to so I be a for presidency for this particular country. My brother. I forget them to say if I give my brother for presidency for this country, my brother took you wallahi. My brother I go divide them for this country. Who? My brother mana, I go divide them Allah kwa. They are kind of my brother wallahi. Ibona. Na dia. Another one, Kuma Idi. My brother, all my brother, put this in the Allah. I will be thieves. My. You! That is it! You! 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 Leave me alone! You! You! Hey, you! Look at this idiot! Hey, you! Sorry, my people, thieves! How dare you take your rock? You! Go from out to talk nonsense about my people! 
you people have destroyed the nation by cleaning the whole economy of this nation. And you are there. They are all thieves in army uniform. Please, please, please. Do you consider the civilian? You ah. would be a. You would be a. Nobody. Hey, Tilly, do this to me. Choose a long kill. You are very lucky. If I were Bala, mm -hmm. if I were Bala, mm -hmm. I would have removed your teeth. Ah, my teeth. Don't you know that your people are the top class citizens of this country? Yeah. I'm a man of the That's my people I'm Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me Let me Let me show Let me I want to find the brother. This is no. Leave me alone. 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 Major Tell, yes, sir. I have no doubt that you are aware that you are the chief security to the head of state and commander in chief of this country and the villa. Yes, sir. You were chosen alongside with others because of your enviable position in the military school as an intelligence officer. You should be rest assured that as long as you remain the chief security officer, you will not lack anything at all at all in this country, Wahala. And you should be aware that many people believe that we come into power through the backyard. As such, you have to be very, very, very intelligent and keep your eye open in terms of security. Kajigo? Yes, sir. I can assure you that I'll do everything within my powers to make sure I set up a formidable security apparatus to take care of you, sir. And you will never be disappointed. Okay. Thank you. I have called the two of you for an important discussion. You are now men and no longer small boys. As such, you have to be very, very smart. Today, I'm the head of state of this country. As such, you have a lot of opportunity to grab anything and become rich. Kajiko. Thank you, Father, for your kindness. You are indeed a good father. And I assure you, we will use every opportunity given to us by you. Uh, I am very, very grateful, Baba. Issa was right. I mean, Opportunities like these are privileges one should not misuse. Since we cannot just uh, dip our hands into the country's wealth and take whatever we want at whatever time, I think this is a, a good advice to us. And we thank you very much, Papa. Now go there. Thank you. I am very, very happy that um, you boys are willing to play games along with me. Yes. You have fuel? Yes, I have. How much do you sell per liter? 70 naira per liter. 70 what? 70 naira per liter. Isn't it 30 naira again? I'm told it's 70 naira per liter. But the government says 30 naira. I got 70 naira. If you don't want to buy, you go. Some people have been buying and going. Eh? Please, go to places with their useless fuel. Nonsense. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, you news. That's it. You news. What is it, Amosaki? You think you're running out of fire? Somewhere here. Why didn't you push it along here? Ah, I came from very, very far. Five kilometers away. I can't do that. I just see my money to get to him when I go take Sarah. In fact, I'm already they say Tarika here. They say 17 naira. I will give what? For your future price, 30 naira. 18. I am tired. I could not buy because I cannot afford that amount. Because where do we go from here? I don't believe it. Uh, yes. I don't know if I can get 200 naira. May I manage to take my own take you hard? 18. I have already spent 200 naira on black market before coming here. And right now, between me and my family, I have only 150 naira left. Get me, I don't have to push my Rajana back home. Hey! It's very, very unbelievable that a country, the sixth largest oil producing in the whole world, cannot even boast of oil. My dear, it's not only that. Do you know that all military regimes are the same? Do you remember when this government took over? They promised to solve this fuel scarcity once and for all. That is one of their promises. All, the, all those ones that come give, promise the same thing. Uh, even electricity, when it can come, just electricity, no more fire period, no more fire period. Now it has become work. There is no right anywhere. You forgot that they promised to, that the winner of December 6th election must be handed over the power. I tell you, yes. I tell you, this is one of their promises. They said they will have over in one year. Now this is five months. I'm not telling you. I believe all this is going to end up in a war. What? Look, don't talk about war. Look, it is not the best option. Because most of us who tested and saw war have now realized that it was not the best option. Oh, you will help me push my uh, Mossad. Ah, ah. One will die, oh. So, yes. Want to see His Excellency? Tell him. He, his friend, Chikash, is waiting here to see him. Well, I'm sorry you can't see him because he's completely indisposed to see anybody today. Kill him, so kill him, is Tell him, his friend, Chikash, is waiting to see him. All right? Okay, sir. I'll try and get him through the phone, sir. That's better. I'm so kill him, sir. See so. also, Chief Kosh is here. He wants to see His Excellency. Ask him to wait. Thank you, sir. So, His Excellency said you should relax for a while while he sends for your letter. When he calls me up. Yes, sir. Go back and tell him again that Chief Cash is here waiting to see him. His old friend Chief Cash is here waiting to see him. Okay, sir. All right. Yes, Your Excellency. And I'll pay the sum of $20 million into your foreign account. To who? To your son, Isa. Okay, good man, good man, okay. But Your Excellency, if I may suggest, the amount I paid into your foreign account is affecting 
the importation of refined products into the country. And this has given rise to fuel scarcity. What has the amount you sent to my foreign account got to do with fuel scarcity? Huh? Your Excellency, sir, none of the three refineries in the country is working. And so we depend on imported products. But this time around, after paying into your foreign account the sum of $20 million, nothing is left to import refined products as we normally did. The first cash will really stand so acute that tension is mounting throughout the nation. I ask the masses to wait that um, we will soon bring pump more fuel into the circulation. Huh? Your Excellency, sir. It is only one week of fuel scarcity, and people are already protesting. I'm afraid of what may happen next, because from the available of air, this scarcity will last for two months. Mm, don't panic. Have the mind of a soldier. If the masses refuse to have patience, we'll use force on them. Your Excellency, sir. You may not understand. The situation may get out of hands, especially now that the cost of transportation has increased to more than five times the normal cost. How many liters do you have in your reservoir? We have 15% uh, liters. That is 130,000 cubic liters. you to send to with immediate effect to Republic of Malibu half of that quantity the president is my friend and as a rich country we have to be our brothers keepers and our troop is presently there for peace mission Kajiko Your Excellency sir remember that the said quantity will not last for even three days. And uh, I cannot bring myself to supply to Malik Republic in this situation. If you cannot do that, you leave my office immediately. I said leave my office immediately. Leave immediately. Is that clear? Tell you how I feel about this man. It might be an obstacle in our way. And what do you suggest? I suggest we relieve him of his appointment immediately. Okay. Replace him immediately. Chief Cash, I told you that I'm very, very busy in my office. If what you come for is a very pressing issue, I want to discuss with you on phone. Your Excellency, this is not something we can discuss on the phone. I need to see you so that we can finalize and discuss face to face. It's not a matter for the phone. It is not possible. Look, I've been coming here for the past, in fact, almost 10 times I've been here to see you, but your security man keeps preventing me from seeing you. 
I told you that if we, if you don't want to discuss with me, I will drop the phone. Uh, okay, okay, okay. If you insist, it's all right. I don't mind. So what is the matter? Look, uh, Your Excellency, I wish to express my my dismay over the way and manner you, you I have been treated ever since you assumed the. The, the, the post of uh, uh, the head of state. Honestly, I'm not happy at all. Eh? It's like you've forgotten our agreement. Look, I try to tell you, don't annoy me. You understand? Don't annoy me at all, at all. Well, uh, you did uh, uh, promise that after one year, the stipulated one year, you will hand over to me. And it's now one, 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 one and a half year, a year and a half, and, and uh, you refuse to hand over to me. I told you that it's not possible to hand over to you. The idea has been cancelled. Don't, don't, don't give me that. Don't, don't give me that at all. That was not at our agreement. Ronnie. Don't provoke me, right? Don't provoke me at all, at all. I do not intend to provoke you. I told you we are ready to give you contract in place of that agreement. I don't want any contract. We, we, there's nothing we can do for you again. All I'm interested in is my mandate. I, 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 I want my, my mandate. Hello? Uh, wait, what kind of embarrassment is this? A minute class! Ah. Hang up the phone on me! You were supposed to send it up. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Chief, you have overstayed your work. Now leave. In your mina, from you, the traditional film machal of the party empire you are talking to. You cannot treat me like that. I said, leave now. When did you join the army? When did you join the army? Small boy like you will be talking to me like that. When did you join the army? I said, leave. Uh, okay. All right. I will leave. But let me tell you, I will retaliate this. Oh you, oh you, oh you, ruffian military boys. Once you are in uniform, you lose your senses. Wait, what do I do? I was at your place to join your motorcycle to work. <laughs> hey, Tinder, you make me laugh. The last time I rode my motorcycle was last month, when there was little fuel. I got it in the house, oh. and I've been waiting since morning for bus. Huh. Oh, my brother, I don't suffer. Come on, 
I have to stay young. <laughs> you are welcome to my house for the first time, Chief Cash. Please go in and sit down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Please sit down here. Yeah? Where do I sit? I'm in Here, here. Don't be confused. Sit down, please. Uh, please, what type of drink do I offer you now? Uh, Chief Nze, the situation of things these days does not uh, allow me to either eat or drink. What must be the cause of this? Chief Nze, please, I, 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 You don't need to prostrate to tell me what the problem is. Chief Nze, you know, your association with ABW, Association for Better Wahala, is a very, very popular association in this country. And you, the chairman, you, you are a very popular man. I, and I know with, with, your, uh, with your assistance, you can help me actualize my mandate given to me by the people of this country during the December 6th polls. Chief Nzi, uh, I have here a draft to the tune of a hundred million naira to help you do the job well. Thank you. You now know that it is unwise to look down on anybody. You know, I wish to recall what you said some time ago that you can do without me. Ah, Chief Izzy. My people used to say in one program that Tom Odeban Shebi Omode, Agba Lagba Ama Shebi Agba. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. That is why I'm here to make amends, Chief Izzy. I am happy you have learnt your lessons. Yes. yes. Please, Chief Nze. Please accept it. Please, Chief Nze. Uh, Chief Cash. Yes. An action must be initiated by you first and foremost before I can come in. Uh, uh, okay, please advise me. Adv adv advise me. I'm ready. I want you to declare yourself the president and see what we shall do. Ah. In this uh, present uh, military regime, don't you think that uh, that action will they, will they will find the confrontation? Huh? You have to know that to regain your mandate and become the president is not on a platter of gold. Okay. If you think it's wise, all right. Okay. It is. We are solidly behind you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. I, I don't know what I'll do without without you. Thank 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 you very much. Thank you very much. We are doing good. We are doing good. Okay. So see you. Okay. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir. Another report coming in revealed a secret plan by Chief Cash to declare himself the president tomorrow, sir. Where is the declaration taking place? Where is it? 
sir, sir. The place is yet unknown, sir. We'll have to find out first and arrest him before the declaration, Excellency. That is exactly what we shall do. Uh, Chief of General Staff, I want you to know that the army and everything is under your care. I know you are. If it is money or ammunition, everything is there. I want you to work hand in hand with Major Taylor and Kudo, even though they are asked for special assignment. I know. I don't want you to do anything with the Chief of General Staff because he's just here as a fool. If you have anything to do, you just let me know. We only leave him to stay there to take care of his people. Kajiko, so mm. I want you, you make sure you get your men and Make sure you inform the other battalion that everything has to be in order. Angamas, eh? Angamas. Please, I want it right now. Because like right now. Angamas. Beloved Wahalans, for the past one year, I have been under intense pressure to take the bold step of rescuing this our beloved nation of Wahala from the strongholds of these tyrants in military uniform. After due consultations with various interest groups in the country, I have now bowed to the demands of you Wahalas by taking the mandate of leadership in this country and swearing myself in as the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Wahala. So help me God. You've been listening to Chief Cash of the Federal Republic of Wahala broadcasting to his countrymen. Remember he is the assumed winner of the December 6th presidential election. As you have heard and seen, he has declared himself the President and Commander-in-Chief of his country, Wahala. There will be a repeat broadcast at CC as GMT. More reports. Your Excellency, sir, a campaign against your regime has been mounted by the Jet newspaper, which also carries the news in favor of the declaration by Chief Kash. The newspaper, as you already know, is owned by Chief Kash himself. Get to be Major General on the line right now. Major Terror, get your men to arrest that fool, Chief Cash. Make sure you detect the mystery radio station. Involve the police general and make sure you meet the general of army staff to get your necessary equipment. Over. Them for over. That bloody civilian, the Yiske. Hey. Stand out! Hey! Red Chang! Red! Fire the center! Fire the radio order! Mark fire! Lift red! 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 One! Two! Three! Five! Hold up! Lift red! Parade waiting for inspection. Permission to take you around for the inspection proper, sir. 
I'll be showing Grunt. How many friends do you have? So, I have four. And you? Sir, I have six friends. And you? I have two friends, sir. And you? No, sir. The three of you may go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need you for this special assignment. The reason why I sent back your other colleagues the other day is because they have friends. And the implication of having a friend or friends is because naturally you confide in them. But in state matters that demands utmost secrecy, there are bound to be leakages. But because you do not have a friend, that's why you're qualified for this assignment. Do you want to become rich? Yes, sir. By all means. If necessary, sir. Would you like to work at the presidency? If I am given the opportunity, sir. Good. Your posting from today henceforth is that they are sold force at the presidency. One more thing. I have on record that your real names are Sabena Kamba. And 
and for security reasons, you shall operate under the cover name Sergeant Jaguar. Yes, sir. You can fall out now. such an assembly of people committed to the task of rescuing their fatherland from the stranglehold of societal idiots in army uniform. People who have not only ruined our country, but have as well exposed us to international ridicule. Oh. I throw my weight behind every move of yours. And my blessing as a royal father goes with your organization. Up for Echo! We are on the military! Up for Echo! We are on the military! We are on the military! from the bloodthirsty tyrants signifies a victory in the direction of restoring the sanctity of human dignity in this country. Yes! Yes! yes. True. Raising power from the military is a task that must be done. Yes! 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 Go on! And in pursuit of this, our secret radio studio which has been transmitting on a limited range has undergone refurbish to increase its transmission rate. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Distinguished members of the world, were they clear? Yes. yes. I conclude. Commissioner of Police, of this province is on our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very useful to us in many ways. Sure. Especially helping our members to seek asylum from foreign embassies. Yeah, bro, okay, the ticket is ready. Like, you, you don't want to go to the airline now. You will be there tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It proves to my Oh. Oh, my God. This is, this is serious. You love what we are doing to you, don't you? Oh, no, it's fantastic. It's caucastic. It's... Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's caucastic. <laughs> oh. Take <laughs> your tummy. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you all, honestly. I don't really know how to express my love. One lie, you are so wonderful, girls. One lie is wonderful. I will make sure that I, I crazy all... <laughs> 
from detention? No. No, it's not possible. Well, like, it's not possible. Okay. Taro. Yes. Uh, there's a problem I want you to put under control. Yes. Shoot aside any of the components. Yes. Do it. Yes. Thank you. Realize how effective the police is in crime investigation at the grassroots level. But as this group called Wadeko has hatched a plan to destabilize the government, and from the situation report I have, this group consists of very influential personalities here in this country. That is true. I've always included that in my security report that that group constitutes a threat to the national security. Well, 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 that is correct. Um, that group is very dangerous and must be kept under strict surveillance, even though we know they cannot match the soldiers armed with guns. Yes. There is a total sum of 50 million naira and I shall give you a certified bank draft of 150 million naira, which you must use to keep this group permanently on the check. Did you get that? Noted. Good. to this rally. The large turnout of people at this rally does not surprise me. Yes. Because our society is a dynamic one. And like all dynamic societies, the masses are bound to respond to stimulus of socio-political variants of a given dispensation. Yes. In so doing, we will go to any length and we will adopt every available means to achieve our objectives. Yes! Speak out! This objective being to chase General Alba and his bloodthirst colleagues out of office. Yes! yes. No, 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 no! For the fact that they have stolen the people's mandate, the, reg the present regime of General Alba is illegal. Yes! yes. 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 Most illegal. Hence, we must remove them from office and install the right man, Chief Cash, as our head of state. Yeah! Up, what a call! Up, up, what a call! Up, what a call! Up, what a call! Yes, we just handed up the crusade. Yes. Yeah. 
thereby causing civil unrest within the country, especially within the Lagos province. What did you do? The situation is under control right now, Your Excellency. We were able to do that by redeploying forces from the headquarters, and a hundred people were arrested. Prominent among those arrested are Wadego officials. First on the list, sir, is Pa Omo Edo. Second is Mr. Afi. Retired Air Commodore Daniel Solomon. And then Mrs. Kirila Kash, wife of the detained Chief Kash. Alaji Ahmed, Chief Ebola Gay, Professor Noble, and then Pa Mike Kunde. And how do you handle them? I will suggest, Your Excellency, that they all should die. politics instead of going around making trouble. You need a permanent rest. Madam, I take it that you are passing through a displeasing trauma. 
Your husband has been arrested and the people's mind has taken away. How do you react to this? <laughs> well, this is just the beginning. The war is just beginning. <laughs> well, I am going to fight them. I will fight them to a standstill. I am going to fight with the last drop of my blood. I will fight for the people's mandate. Then, well, in of where to stop? That is where we will continue from. But, madam, how do you think you can handle the whole nation? <laughs> well, <laughs> tell them. I'm not so full. Tell them that I'm not resting on my words. <laughs> I have made super contacts with the superpowers. And by the time I am through, they will know. By the time I am through, the government will know that what men can do, this woman, a nuclear cash, I will even do better. So, so I mean, tell them. I need tell them, Shabba. No, I am not through yet. This country. What? Thank you, Thank you, madam. Okay, I'm going to me. How is your organization reacting to the turn of events? You know, your strong man has been taken. Young lady, I am a wealthy man. My organization is not taking it lightly. I am, I am going to utilize all my wealth and in fact every available means to ensure that I destabilize the government. Then, a minute of me, and I mean it. Thank you, sir. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it looks like the right privilege that gave me to sell it as some for this little get into your head. And you're beginning to mess up my assignment and your military career. No, sir. Shut up. Why must you let the masters enemy go? Why? I put my long bullet into it. Shut up. This is 
Alpha calling. Alpha, your informant calling. What is the situation right now like? KK, I just left the house now. She's going to police headquarters to bring some police escort to lead her over to the Canadian embassy. She will stop over at Kennedy Street. Confirm reading me. Okay, what number exactly is she dropping over at Kennedy Street? Number 34 to be precise. A duplex. security officer to the head of state will be very very angry with whosoever cannot do his job. Forget about your tribal affiliation and do the government work that pays your salary. This is a certified bank draft for the sum of 50 million naira. It is for your logistics and every other thing on my need just to keep Wadeko in check. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And believe me, sir, I will teach them a lesson. Come on, they want to go the rag and cause the soil. No, 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 you must not be directly involved, or else you will be as a government agent within the Wadeko. I shall bring in federal police and soldiers from the headquarters at Rasako. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. You can go. Thank you, sir. needed for this operation is in the back of my trunk and that's the key to my car also have this you might find it quite interesting I trust that you know that um, all necessary precautions should be taken in this operation you can rest assured sir everything is under control Have a nice day, Terrell. I am very disappointed at your inability to kill that Wadeko chief, despite all equipment and logistics put in place for you. Mistake not repeats itself again. Am I clear? Yes, sir. No more mistakes. Our next assignment is a crucial one, and the operation will be carried out within the Lagos province. Sir, I should be having some misgivings about carrying such 
sophisticated equipment into the province by the police. I will personally escort you into the Lagos province and hand you over to the police commissioner. He is on our side. It will be great if he is. On completion of this assignment successfully, each of you will be given 20 million naira to leave the country immediately and lie low there until tension comes down. Did you hear that? Yes, sir! You can go. I'll brief you later. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my boy. Attention, attention. Assistant Commissioner Operations over. AC Operations speaking over. This is the Commissioner of Police speaking. We draw the men on patrol from District 7 along El Dorado Hotel. Use them to beef up security in District 5 over. Beef up security in District 5 over. AC operation has taken note and we comply immediately over. Thank you. Within 15 minutes, the road will be clear for you to operate. Thank you, sir. We are very grateful. Thank you, my boy. This is from the CSO. For your lunch, sir. All right, thank you. All right. Hello. How are you? Hi, sir. Um, is your MD Alan Hebo on seat? May I know who you are? Well, you see, um, I am from the presidency and I would like to have a very important meeting today. Okay, let me inform you. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Um, I'll go to the car and get a few documents. I'll be right back. He's due to leave in a minute or two and you will definitely miss him. But you see, I can't have this discussion without those documents. Well, um, I'd rather see him at the lobby or maybe in the car. What we'll make of car is he using anyway? The bank is at the executive car pass. Thank you. Thank you. See me tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir.
Major Terror. Mission executed. We're on our way out. Over. So, uh, have you been able to get me the plots of land I want in the F-City? Yes, I am in charge of Federal Capital Territory. You'll get them, trust me. Well, it's just that uh, it has taken a little bit too long. Uh, I don't know why. Yes, I want to allocate a land in a choice area so that... Uh, Um, you will add it. Oh, CJ, sorry, where are you going? Why are you rushing me away to your mother? What is the problem? Is that stupid boy? He has such an insolent manner. Look, I don't want him to see me here with you. A major? An ordinary major in the army? You are scared about? What is so special about him? We'll talk about that later. Oh, um. Not a shame of yourself! Take him to the car! Get him! As soon as I get out of this country, 
I shall deal with the military. <laughs> this country will be set up. <laughs> I am sorry to invite you to another meeting after the last meeting we had recently. There's a security report that told me that some people are plotting to overthrow the military government. The report just came in through Major Taylor and I've given it to Lieutenant General J.T. Goodman. He has the information. A breakdown of the list shows that apart from the involvement of five senior officers and three civilians, we also have the name of former head of state as well. And head of can you imagine that? Even Major General um, um, Moses Kassin is also involved. So what do we do? Subhanallah. What do we do? In fact, this compounds my sense of rational reason. Men that ought to have retired to their arms permanently still find themselves meddling in a business as dirty as cool cloth. Can you imagine? So what are we going to do to get them to them? What are we doing? We should try them and have them shot or we convict them accordingly. A lot of them have been arrested and if you continue like that, if you continue, Akama Shegu Arbesu, the Kuwaisa Nawana Arbesu, this is Wahala regime. Nobody can tamper with our regime. Nobody can betray for us our regime. We'll lie to lie to Abu Nazai. Can you imagine? Can you? Subhanallah. If I should request you to release Major General Moses Katzin, who was involved in the last coup plot. Why should I release him? I just have enough. Why should such a word come from your mouth? How dare you? Pablo Rankutiti, I am only trying to prevent a situation where people will think you are victimizing him. Remember the relationship. Yes, that's Major General Moses Katzin's uncle, Harry of Hudson, that bears my name. It's not enough. But don't ever let that word release come out of your mouth again. Now, leave this place, please. Leave this place, I just have it. I say you should leave. Sabina. The mayor has thrown me out of his house. Is that why you cry? 
He has been informed of our love affair, so he threw me out. Don't let that bother you. As you go, come to my house. But I am pregnant. For me? No. For the Emir. You know I love you. I will claim the child will lie. Can't you put a smile on a bright, lovely day like this? I am trying to discuss something very serious here, okay? No reveling around. What's the problem? Must you start the day with nagging? Call it whatever you want, but I'll make my point clear. Oh, go ahead and make your point. But I hope you don't blow your top. I'll say this very clearly to you, without mincing words. You shouldn't be handling the family's financial transaction. Are you sure you are referring to me, Bello? But of course I'm referring to you. And at this moment, you have to stop using the family's business name for business. Why? Because um, you are not uh, General Albert's son. Whose son am I? <clears throat> Your real father is the Emir. The uncle to the detained uh, Major General Moses Katsin. That means that you do not have a share in the family's fortune. Except, of course, the one our mother gives to you. you to deposit 16 million dollars in the family foreign account. Have you done that? There's that. The teller is in your closest. Baba, there's a request I want to make. I hope it will be granted. Of course, it is possible. Could you please order the release of Major General Moses cousin, now in detention. Isa Ubanka, how dare you make such a costly request? How dare you? I learned that his late uncle, the Emir, was my real father. Isa, it's not true. It seems you are getting out of your senses. Baba. My younger brother, Bello, has been insulting me over this issue. Is that if you don't have any reasonable thing to tell me, get out of my sight right now. I said, get out of my sight! I have warned you about this Moses Cassini matter, and you refuse to listen. I have warned you. Papa, what is the matter? Did you ever insist to break this family? You really insist in breaking this up? I still can't understand. Don't worry. What you want out of this issue, you will, you will pay for it. Remember what I 
told you about Haja Sabina and the family of Lieutenant General Moses Kansi. Yes, Your Excellency. And I told you to be a scandal to the first family. People got to know about it. Lieutenant General Moses cannot remain alive and continue to attract the sympathy of my family or threaten to break my home. Your Excellency, if you insist, I'll have to. Then do so. about this man, uh, Moses Castina, in detention. Have you taken care of him? Sir, he has been present to death yesterday. Good job. The young man you are seeing on the screen is a third year student of the Collins University. He was hit by a passing car four weeks ago and has been in coma. He only needs a sum of 100,000 Naira to regain consciousness. We are therefore appealing to the government and public spirited individuals to come to his aid with monetary donations. Thank you. Poor boy. Why can't the government just give him the money? Parents should be able to do that, such a small amount. Can you afford it? It is not the duty of the government to take care of sick people. Yeah, all time I should be having a meeting. Oh, His Excellency, what of the... The projects, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know you, you have to die. Hold your breath, hold your breath. Hmm? Oh, the I knew what we were talking about. So? I knew it, which was it. One lie, I knew it. Uh, go, go into the wardrobe. Bring that box. Security agents informing me. Don't even bother calling the gate because I have collected all the handsets. Why did you do that? So you'll not be enlightened on my coming. Don't you know you're endangering my personal security life by collecting my security agents' sets? Your personal security is already endangered by these uh, disease infested uh, prostitutes. These insolent bitches who have refused to marry. Your agent pants will destroy you! Alright, sexual predators, get out of here. Out! I say out before I deal with you! Don't 
go to things. So this is how you spend the people's money, Alba. I will make sure I get all my security men fired for life. You can't sack any of your critical men for the simple reason that I collected the handsets in order to expose your life of degraded sexuality. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you, Adia? Do you know that the president of this country, the commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Ohana, you talk to me like that? No? Get out of this way. Ashamed of what, Sabina? Ashamed of engaging in sordid sexual trade. Jumping from one man's bed to another. But I am warning you for the last time. Leave my husband. <laughs> husband King, husband me. Do you consider yourself His Excellency's wife? Come on, Jory, let me pass. Okay, now wait. Let me show you that he's not your husband. Get out of here before I deal with you. Cobra? Yes, ma! Say to him that this bitch goes out of his premises. Yes, ma! Madam, would you just respect yourself and get out of this place? I will force you out. Now! Get out! Your Excellency, sir, it was the fault of the protocol officers at the gate. It was indeed their fault. I will have them dismissed immediately at your instance, sir. And that not all, Major Terror. Henceforth, I will want all of my babies to be received at the Federal Capital Minister's guest house. Kajiko, yes, sir. arrange for that. Excellent idea, sir. I thought as much about it. Uh, one more thing, Your Excellency.
Let's make it look like our society's job. No, sir. What would the world think about our national security if our president's son has to be shot? That would be ridiculous. Since he has to travel within the locus province for his birthday, I think a motor accident will be better. Your Excellency, sir, I think it would be cheap and most embarrassing for the president's son to travel a distance of 700 kilometers by road. When, as a matter of fact, he should be flying in the presidential jet. I agree with you, Chair. But what do we do about it? Your Excellency, sir, a plane crash is a solution. That way, it will not arouse suspicion. Good news. We we'll have to destroy an airplane and perhaps many more lives. Your Excellency, that is it. Let the presidential jet go with every life in it. of your mind again. My main concern is my first son. He must not be harmed. Adia Sabina, you killed Bose and you think I don't know. You should be ready to bear the consequences of my life. before takeoff time and he hasn't showed up. Is he traveling with us? Yes, of course. He's to propose the toast. Could it be he has forgotten? That is not possible. I guess it's just being difficult. <laughs> being difficult when his own elder brother is having a bad day bash. You can go and look for him. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hurry up to his apartment and fetch him. Come on. Okay, I'll be my mom. Can you do that? What are you up to, boy? Aren't you making the trip anymore? Uh, I, I don't think so. See, Father will be needing my assistance at the office today, seriously. Father? Has he forgotten that today is my birthday? I can't explain that to you, really. I can't. You know these things, man. Father's business is my priority. You can't do this to me, Elo. This is wrong. Yes, sir. Listen. Yes, uh, I'm really sorry about this, but please try and understand. I promise I'll make it up to you some other time, okay? I promise. However, I... I need all those documents used for the family's business transaction that you're with. What did you need them for? Can't you wait till I'm back? Why are you so interested in those documents? It seems you are trying to start another war. Oh, come on, man. It's, uh, the, the temperature is showing on your forehead. You know it's not in my power to ask for those documents. It's Baba that wants it. Baba wants what? What the hell is wrong with you, man? You didn't eat a crab or what? Swallow the food. Yes, you should do it fast. Did you hear me? Could you imagine a mere flight engineer 
insisting I must fly in that junk. He called an airplane. It's still an airplane, isn't it? No, honey. I deserve the presidential jet. I'm the first son of my father. Yes, you are. But then maybe your father needed the presidential jet. Or maybe he had some problems. Whatever is the case, I'm not going to travel in that junk. It's your bad day, darling. Please don't let this plane of a thing take the shine out of it. No. No. I can't just fly in this. It is an insult. You have to. Just this once, please. Yeah. And the guests are waiting. Come on, guy. Have yourself a nice time. Go ahead and enjoy your travel. Come on. Enjoy this place. His Excellency's private line. Yes, speak. He's listening. The managing director of Wahala Airport Authority. Excellency, again. Yes, go ahead. I have received an unfortunate report that the plane on which the head of state's first son traveled has crashed. tell you about some international development. The Commonwealth has placed a ban on us for human rights violation. And the United States of America has stopped any of our ministers in uniform from coming to their country. Well, Your Excellency, because of this recent development, our country has become unpopular among other nations. And I think we should do something about it. I tell you something. There is no country on earth that has the right to tell us how we rule our country. And the most difficult problem we have now is this Wadeko group. And we are going to do everything humanly possible to clap down on that group and other groups. Wallahi. Your Excellency, I agree with you there. We must do something about it. Ayo, I call you as our own son to draw your attention to the fact that a lot of things are getting wrong with the government in which you are the number two man. A lot of things are wrong in the country today. Our people are killed and maimed every day. Others are running into exile. Are you my son? Yes, sir. I want you to prove that you are the real son of the soil. By doing something, 
to save your people and the country in general. May you live long, Kabesi. I thank you very much for your concern. And I will promise you here today, sir, that I will definitely do something. I am aware that this administration is going mad. Especially the head of state and that uh, criminal, Major Terror, is Chief Security Officer. Kabisi, sir, I'll give you my word. I will do something. Thank you. And the sooner, the better. Ben Kabisi. See, I, my dear Kash, I'm very, very concerned about your quiet. I, I know you're not supposed to be here, but uh, our country is going through a lot of problems right now. So it has to be so for now. Hmm? Uh, I was with the traditional ruler recently, the Oba, and we talked at length about you. Hmm? And I can assure you that Something urgent will be done very, very soon about your case. You know how to teach you. You know what I really want you boys to do for me is to, to, to please do whatever you can to do. Get me out of this place. To any foreign country in the world, please. You know, look, at, look at my body. Mosquito bites, everything. Yeah, I have fever. Mm -hmm. I don't even see clearly anymore. Mm -hmm. So go mm -hmm. on to me. Mm -hmm. eh? so, so. General, Mr. Chief Kesh has to be taken out of detention and flown abroad. And you know we cannot succeed without your assistance. You are quite correct. And that is why I've already made an elaborate plan of action. The soldiers who are going to do the operation have already been briefed. But I must know the exact time of operation. Three in the morning. Good. This is... Uh, on the list of names. Make sure that that money gets to every department for easy operation. Is that understood? Cool. Well, I must take my leave now.
Also, sir. Where is the Inspector General of Police? So the IG went on a special mission which we assigned him to. Where do you people intend to keep Chief Cash? For now, sir, he's in a guest house. But we are planning to move him into an uncompleted building which belongs to the IG. According to Major Terror, he says no one will be able to recognize that an important prisoner is there. Is he aware of this? The IG is aware of His Excellency. And I assure you, sir, it will be completed in no time, sir. Make sure there is no mistake. Kajiko? Yes, sir, sir. to suggest that we should make the new detention home of Chief Cash a top secret. No one among us should reveal it. That's a very brilliant suggestion, Sergeant Jabba. And you know nobody can be trusted. Not even the second in command. of the last meeting. Oh. The secretary can have that. The highlights of the last meetings have to do with the taking of the oath of secrecy, the planning of strategy, the venue of arrest of General Alma. Gentlemen, those are the high points of our last meeting. Uh, if there is any omission or major contribution, please feel free to make it. Um, I do remember that uh, there was a detail to make contact with some important personalities. Let's hear how far it's gone with it. Uh, yes, with the money given to me, I've succeeded in contacting four people and they're all willing to cooperate. Good. Very good. <sighs> Gentlemen, without wasting too much of your time, let me be quick to promise you that I will make sure that it comes to the venue of his arrest. Thank you. And, uh, gentlemen, that will be in two days' time. Yes. The boys to affect the arrest and execution have already been briefed. Hi, are you sure he will attend? You know, Major Terror can easily change his mind. Never. I will convince him. Believe me, I will make sure it comes down to anyone. But sir, we've not been given a rundown of those to be eliminated and the coup. Uh, the secretary will read the names out. First on the list is General Awa, the head of state and commander-in-chief of armed forces. His chief security officer, Major Terror. The National Security Advisor, Colonel Koda, and many others. Oh, gentlemen, I will disburse moment for logistics and contingency. Thank you. But I guess that uh, wraps up everything. But so uh, we are going to wait till next week. Yeah. Next week. Excellency. Now, listen to me, boy. I am the second in command here, and I want to see the president. Excuse me? And I am the chief security officer to the president. This is the villa, not your house. I decide who sees the president or not. All right. I will deal with you.
now henceforth. I do not want to see these sycophant generals in the villa without my permission. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Oh, see? I am very sure that Major Terror is dead by now. And we are going to celebrate. Are you sure? Oh, I'm very sure. <laughs> uh, one minute. Uh, CGS are you here? Mm -hmm. What? General, what is it? Major Terror is not dead. He is still alive. There! He was the one that spoke with me on the phone. They have arrested some of my boys. Oh God, I smell danger here. There is danger. I can smell danger here. As an army officer, uh, Ayo, you just have to accept things as they I'm sorry. You, you should learn to bear the consequence of anything you've done. Your Excellency, please pardon me. I, I, I know I have, uh, I, I have made mistakes, but please forgive me, Your Excellency. I cannot have my two eyes closed as my second in command. You don't have to cry, Ayo. You don't have to cry all at all. You just, you just have to. You just have to bear the consequence. You should be courageous enough to bear the consequence. You just have to bear it. You have to bear it. Clean your eyes, right? Soldier, come on. Clean your eyes. Come on. We're still friends. Clean your eyes. There's no problem. There's no problem. The law has to take it first. You just have to. No problem. No problem. Excellency, no talk for you people. He forgot you! Gave you everything! Everything! And now you want to talk for I keep saying that that man, General Alba, is very intelligent. Well, shoot. That school was a frame-up. How can a man like General Ayo plan to topple his own government? Look, he planned a coup and he must face the firing squad. Ah, 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 ah. They cannot kill him. They cannot kill him. If they do, eh? we shall set this country in place. <laughs> okay, take it easy. They will not kill him. <laughs> they can't do. Leave 
vite, là. Le vite, là, il va vous se coup. Et ni. Et ta. Carré. Carré. Dès que vous m'avez crié. Il est tout. Oui, chasse, c'est ce qu'on a appelé. C'est tout. Gentlemen, our important mother will make this call and find urgent solution to I want you to know that about 10 officers are due for sack in less than five days. How do you come about such an unbelievable story? You may not know. The confidential secretary to the secretary to the federal government is my girlfriend. This is a copy of the letter that is to sack all of us. What do we do? I think what we should do is to talk with him. How? The only way we can succeed is to include the name of the Federal Capital Territories Minister, Lieutenant General J.T. Goodwill, his very good friend. Please, do not take away from the FCT Minister because of his close relationship with the head of state. Leave that to me. We'll meet again. Please let us know. What? I can't believe Alba could have approved my sack from the army just to destroy my army career. I can't believe this. It's not true. What have I done wrong? So you don't know he has no friends. All he wants is to have the entire nation to himself. I can only achieve that by signing on That does not explain the question of my name. Then I can hear you calling yourself his best friend, right? Of course. I good friends on the army route. JT, good boy. You know, I've had to save the life of the general and that of his chief security officer for two times. By revealing Q Club to them. You know it. Could there be a better way of being good? Or showing my own health at the end of the But what do I do? Get him out of the way fast because time is not on our side. When we get rid of him, we have concluded our arrangement of making you the new head of state, being the most senior army officer after General Alba. So, what is my role in this? The role is simple. You know his medical history. You also know that he's on drugs. And if he doesn't take his drugs, he will die. You also know that he's in love with women. Go have a party in your house. You get some women to keep him busy. Making sure he doesn't get close to the drugs.
your friend, his SMS. Sad Sad. He's enjoying himself. Don't mind. Remember, sir. He's on top. Sergeant, I told you not to worry. You'll be safe. Sir, sir, I want to see him. Sergeant. There's no call for alarm. This is good.
Ulete mimi na tisa. Isomo hii hapo. Did what? Did what? 